Okay, uh, private business owners. Um, I just went to a convenience store with the sneeze guards up. And even with the sneeze guards up, people had their masks and gloves on. And this uh, tells me that business owners are telling their managers and security folks that their employees need to be scared of the customer because the customer might be sick. And so they need to have a mask and gloves on. Now let me ask you something, private business and the owners, CEOs, uh, corporate owners from New York City, California, Texas, are you sure you want to go down this road? Because I want to tell you something that we don't have to buy your products. We don't have to buy your services. We can buy them somewhere else. Okay, now gas, okay, that's one thing. We might just buy your gas. Okay, but with the way uh, convenience stores are working nowadays, you're not going to get by just on gas. You've got gas and then you've got your daily items, which people come in and, um, and that's how you're paying people because people come in on a day-to-day -day basis and you're making hundreds of thousands of dollars in money a month on people coming in just buying you know snacks and stuff like that okay so uh, I could tell you that if we decide that we're okay we, we can't exactly boycott gas because we have to put gas in our car but if we boycott bu buying stuff in your store that means you're going to have to close down some stores because you're not going to be able to pay the people that you're hiring. And to here in particular, you just got done building a new super easy go and you're fixing to build another one. Walmart, if you want to, you know, you really want to think about what you're doing here. What you're saying is you're afraid of your customers. What you guys got to understand is that we, the consumer, own your businesses. That's right. We, the consumer, own your businesses. Okay, yeah, your name is on the title. Yes, you've got a partnership and it's, it's got your name on it. Yes, you run the day-to-day -day operations. Yes, you make the reports on the annual, you know, but on your annual reports. Absolutely. Okay, but we, the consumer, are the ones who determine whether you stay in business or not. If we don't shop in your stores, Walmart, then you're going to have to close your doors. Now you better rethink what you're doing here because people are already fed up with Walmart up here. You've turned your Walmarts into Nazi concentration camps just about. And you turned your business managers and employees into Nazi SS men. You put up a re-education speaker in your you put up re-education speakers in your uh, parking lots. And the only thing that's missing is the chain link fence and barbed wire. Oh, the armed guards, too. What is wrong with you people? And then not only that, you formed an oligarchy with the, with the state government or the state governments. Okay? Oligarchy is unconstitutional. That means that neither the government nor the business without a specific reason, and this is not a reason. COVID is not a reason. It's a scam. You don't have a test for it and you don't have a vaccine for it because it's not a disease. It's a scam. You do not have the right to tell people how to live their lives and you don't have a right to tell people how to run their businesses. 
Now, you private business owners, you, you are put there specifically for a purpose. Oh, a Federal Reserve Bank. I might as well throw you in there, too. You need to be standing up to the federal government when it comes to money. If we ain't got it, they don't need it. And in Planned Parenthood, you're the ones who said, okay, let's, uh, let's abort up to a million babies a year, every year since 1972. That'll drain the tax money down to a point where the United States won't be able to do much of anything. Isn't that the plan? No, y'all better think about what you're doing, because God sees what you're doing. I may not be able to do much, but I hope the people that are listening to this video will be able to, and they'll start boycotting your businesses and closing you down. And guess what? We don't have to be violent. We don't have to show up with demonstration signs. We don't have to show up with guns. All we have to do is shop somewhere else. We're, all we have to do is shop online. That's all we got to do. And you're out of business. Think about that.